Welcome to another video from Network Engineer Academy. So, I decided to talk about my experience being in the IT field. And I decided to do two videos. And this is video number one. And I wanna walk you through an experience that I had. And that's when I failed my CCNA three times. Now, on video number two, I'm gonna walk you through on how and why it took me nine fucking months to get my first job in the IT field. You know, I was at that point when I, I'm like, I'm done. This is not for me, it's really hard, I'm terrified, and I don't have a job in the IT field. But you know, something changed, and that's exactly what I, uh, I wanna walk you through on video number two. And you know, I'm getting chills because it's a, it's a good story. But that's for video number two, okay? So now, going back in the CCNA. Yes, I didn't fail the CCNA once, but three times. And this was um, in 2004, okay? And at that point, I didn't have a job in the IT field. So I had my A plus and I had my network plus certifications. And I had those because that's exactly what the IT community and a few people told me, hey Jorge, you wanna work in the IT field? I mean, you know how that goes, right? Like, oh, you need to get your CompoTIA A plus, your CompoTIA network plus certification and whatever. And that's exactly what I did. And that's just because I didn't know any better, okay? So I got those and then I went to the market to see if I was able to get a job in the IT field. And yes, I got a few phone calls, but that's it, that's it. Uh, once they find out that I didn't have any experience, they were completely done with me. And that, I mean, it's not like a week passed by. No, that was probably two, three months that I couldn't find a job in the IT field. Even having my A plus and my network plus certification. And once again, I didn't know any better back then. Now, by the way, if I have to start my career all over again, right now, I wouldn't take any CompaTIA certifications because now I know what to do for me to get my first job in the IT field, okay? And probably I'm gonna share some of it uh, uh, on this video because probably you are like right there, like, hey, Jorge, you know, I'm on the same boat, you know? I have a few certs um, and it's really hard for me to get a job in the IT field. Or probably, you know, I have a bachelor's and I have a job, but you know, I wanna move to a higher position, but you know, it's not happening. And I I've been there. Okay, so don't give up, you know, you, you need to, you have to be on the right mindset to keep going. And also for you to surround your people with, surround yourself with the right people. Okay, because probably this is one of the biggest mistakes that you are doing right now. You are surrounding yourself with people that are not giving you the advice that you need for you to get the results that you are looking for. Okay, so you need to analyze where you are right now. So anyways, so go, going back here, you know, and by the way, 2004, the CCNA, it was just one exam. It's not like, oh, you know, you can take your CCNT and then you can take the other exam and bam, your CCNA roaring and switching certified. No, that was only one exam and you didn't have as much videos or resources like you do right now. And I was completely broke back then, okay? So the only method that I used to go through this process was for me to get the fucking book. Another thing that I do not recommend, but, but that's for another video. So I went through the book for two months, okay, inside out. I went through, uh, through that book twice, inside out, uh, taking a lot of notes. Because that's the same process that I went through on getting my CompaTIA A+, and my Network Plus certification. And by the way, those two months, I was completely focused Okay, you know, I insulated myself from friends, even family, but because I had my big why, okay? I had uh, uh, my daughter, you know, newborn, so I need to make something happen. Not just for me at that point, that was for her, for my family, okay? So I was completely committed and focused to make that happen. And by the way, you know, there was a few people tell me, Jorge, let me tell you how things are, okay? That's no way you're gonna get your CCNA because you have no experience in the IT field, okay? You're in, you, you have no idea what's going on and that exam, it's really difficult, okay? Even though, um, even for a few people living in the IT, it's hard. Now for you, yeah, it's gonna be really hard. So 
It's not possible. But I didn't listen, okay? I believe in myself and I have my big why, my daughter. And this is something that you also have to have in front of you. You know, why am I doing this? Okay, because sometimes you have to go through some sacrifices to make that happen. Okay, so I went through a process and when I scheduled my first exam, I didn't have any money. Okay, so I have to borrow money. So that's another thing. Probably you right now, you have some fucking excuse. This is stopping you for you to make something happen. Okay, and back then I can probably tell, you know, uh, my friends or my family, you know, I'm going to wait. Why, Jorge? Why? Uh, I don't have the money right now. I'm broke. Maybe when I have the money, maybe I take the exam. You see, that will be like, okay, that makes sense. No, that's fucking bullshit. Okay. So once again, there shouldn't be no excuse for you to make something happen, for you to get the results that you are looking for. Okay, that's why a few people are able to go through life, you know, creating results in their career and also in their personal life. Most people out there, they're fucking average. Okay, they're always finding excuses and why not to do things. So I have to borrow those $200 for me to take the exam. And I did. I went through it. Oh, and by the way, you know, that the exam completely surprised me uh, because I didn't know that once you click next on the question, you're done. Like you cannot go back. Like, you know, when you take your Compatia verifications, you can go back and forth and review the questions. Now with the CCNA, once you click next, done. Okay. And also they had a few simul uh, simulation questions. I didn't know either. So I don't remember the, uh, the exact, the, the score, but I know it was like around 400. So it was really bad. You know, and yes, you know, I felt bad because I'm like, well, I didn't have this money and I was really hoping for me to get this certification, for me to go on the market and now be able to get a job in the IT field. So I was very excited and bam, you know, everything like pff, gone. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I had one option for me to just give up or for me to me or for me to be like, no, you know, I have my big why. I need to make this happen. And bam, I went through the process again. And I went for three weeks, all in, focused, completely focused, okay? No friends, no, no one, you know, I was focused those three weeks. I went through that book, another mistake. But anyways, so I went through that book, more notes. Now I get it, now I get it, okay. I go and take that, my second attempt. And yes, I have to borrow from the same person another $200. And at that point, I was, yes, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be able to pass the exam. And I know... <laughs> It was better than the first attempt, but once again, I completely failed the exam. And at that point, you know, I was trying to get some uh, advice from people like, you know, what, what can I do? I don't have the money to go to, uh, to a boot camp or anything like that. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm like, Jorge, just don't. You're not going to be able to pass the exam. You have no experience in the IT field. Just they didn't say give up or like, just don't go for it. Okay. But I didn't listen. Okay, me thinking, I was like, watch me, okay? So I went that, that third time, okay? And this time, it took me two months. Once again, all in, you know, I was like completely in on the book, you know? I mean, I think I, at that point, I knew the book inside out, everything, you know? Well, what happened? I didn't pass, okay? And at that point, I will be honest with you. I cry, I cry because... I remember my uh, girlfriend at that point, she was like, you know, this is not going to happen. You know, you are borrowing money from people and you don't have money. You know, instead of helping, just go out there, you know, look for a fucking job, you know, because I wasn't working at that point. You know, I was completely focused day in and day out. That was no friends, no nothing. I was going through that sacrifice. So, yeah, I remember I cried for a few hours. I get home and I was at that point thinking, OK, I'm going to get support from my girlfriend, you know didn't happen she was like i told you so it was really hard so this is the reason why i'm telling you this story because probably you're at that point where you don't know what to do and what i'm telling you to do right now is to be like okay why am i doing this why what's the biggest reason and just do it you just have to do it okay so yeah that's exactly what happened so i was able to uh borrow more money i guess and I was getting, I don't remember that the software that I got to do 
to get like the routers, the switches and do that configuration in another month. Just, I mean, I knew all the, the technical uh, and out of the book, but I needed like the hands on. So I went through the process for 30 days. I went on my fourth attempt and I passed. I barely passed, but I passed. Okay. So at that point I was CCN8 certified and I was so excited. Now I'm like, I'm going to get a job. It's going to be badass. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be good. And didn't happen. Okay. So it didn't happen. And once again, because I didn't know any better, the advice that I was getting in the IT community, I mean, because I didn't know uh, either, I mean, it, it was not the, the right advice for me and how to pursue my IT career. And I know that's a lot of people right now in the IT community that they go through that process, they have no idea on exactly what to do for them to get the results that they're looking for. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we created uh, Network Engineer Academy to give you some type of advice, information that you can at least have in front of you for you, not for me, for you to decide if this is the right thing for you to do. You know, at least you have more options and how to pursue and how to accelerate your IT career. Okay, so I know, and I know because I talk to many people in the IT field, you get to that point when you feel like, I don't think this is for me. You know, I don't think it's gonna happen. It's really hard. I see my friends out there. I'm in the computer studying, you know, and Saturday, I know my friends are watching the game and right now I'm here by myself. No one is watching me. And it, I know I, I'm still go through that process myself, but that's the only way that you're gonna be able to live, to, to live a life that most people just dream of, okay? So I'm just gonna leave you with that. And go to video number two because I'm gonna tell you what happened once I got my CCNA. Because once I got my CCNA, it took me nine months to get my first job in the IT field. So it, was, it wasn't done at that point, okay? And the good thing that I didn't give up, but something happened that I kinda wanna walk you through. So go to video number two so I can walk you through it because I know you're gonna get some value. You're gonna probably feel like inspired to make that happen in your career and also in your personal life. So. I'm gonna talk to you on video number two.